The idea we looked at this morning was integers. You remember that? Integers. Um, the idea is that numbers are about more than just counting. They're more than just how big something is. They can also have direction, right? In fact, that's so important to what these numbers are. Thank goodness numbers have more than one direction. These are, another name for these is directed numbers. So in some textbooks, and sometimes you'll hear a teacher say, let's talk about directed number. What they mean is a number like an integer, which can go one way or in the opposite direction. Okay. Let's just get the slide back on. Now, ooh, what happened to this? Did, does that like that this morning? I just didn't notice. Yeah. The idea of directed number is super, super useful, okay? We already saw three quick examples this morning of where if your numbers have direction, you can describe things really accurately. What were those three examples from this morning? Do you remember what the three were? Marley, just give me one. Oh yeah, um, the stock exchange. The stock exchange where things you know increase or decrease in value. Someone give me another one. Yeah, um, Nikhil? The Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench, so it goes down to the bottom of the ocean and you can come out to a mountain that goes up and breath. Okay, so when we think about temperature, right, we talk about above and below, well, we tend to measure in terms of zero, which mm -hmm. would be this freezing point. Okay? So in all those cases, you've got up and down, up and down, okay? And that's where directed numbers are useful. You might have looked to that exercise, right? The up and down are not the only opposite things. You could have, say, left, this is your left, right? Yeah, I always get confused. Left and right, those are opposites, and in fact, they're the opposites you can see on our number line here. You guys have met number lines before, probably, in primary, when you're thinking about counting back and forth. So now you can see my number line, it goes in this direction and forever in this direction because they can direct both ways. So, with your pen in your hand now again, you can pick it up. On your number line, I'm going to tell you about the important features here so that we can use this thing to help us, right? Firstly, the most important number on the entire number line is the one right smack bang in the middle, okay? And that number is? Zero. Zero, very good, thank you. Uh, actually, mine's not exactly in the middle, but you get the idea. Zero is important because then you know all the numbers to the left are negative numbers. They go more and more and more negative. They might go down or left or whatever it is, or a loss. And all the numbers on the right are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? So what I'm gonna do on top of this is I'm gonna put a few markings, and maybe you wanna do like, Maybe one centimeter markings. You've got a grid on your book mostly, so that'll make this very easy. And we're going to put a few numbers here. So I'm actually going to put a whole bunch of them, right? I'm going to go one, two, I'm going to fit as many as I possibly can on my number line. You might be able to fit a few more, or maybe a few less. You should be able to fit a handful. These are all my numbers on the right of zero. And then over here, all my numbers on the left, negative one, Negative three and negative four. Okay. So here the idea is that numbers have a position that can go all the way in this direction or that direction. Now, someone tell me why are there arrows on the ends of my number line? Why do we bother putting arrows there? Yeah, Darcy. Saying that it can go on forever. Yeah, very good. I mean, my, my number line it stops at five, but you could keep going six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you guys have younger siblings, you know, they might be at that point where you ask them, what's the biggest number you can think of? And they might be like, 20. And you think, you know what? I can think of a bigger what? number than that. And they say, what? How can that be a bigger number? And no matter how much bigger their number is, you always just add one and you get a bigger one. I'm actually going to ask us to make a tiny bit of a modification to this number line in a second. Do you want to roll up? Um, the modification I'm going to make is we're going to add some zeros to this. Now, here's why. When we talk about integers, what I mean is that the number has direction, but in addition to that, like I said earlier this morning, something which is, um, has integrity or is integral means it's whole, okay, it's a whole number. So the numbers that I put all here, they're all integers. But numbers like a half or negative a third or you know, a quarter, all those kinds of things, they're not whole numbers. So you can see they're not on my number line here, okay? So what I'd like you to do to help, me, help us demonstrate the skill that you're gonna need in a second, I want you to add some extra numbers onto here. So instead of making this one, let's add a zero and make it 10. The next one, I'm going to make it 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. And that means over here, I've got negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, negative 40. And the reason why I put this in here 
is because the key skill we want to work on today is recognizing position so we can think about the numbers and how they relate to each other before we like do calculations on these numbers. Okay? So for instance, if I put a number, a mark, right here, okay? Uh, admittedly, you don't have a rule or anything like that, but looking at the way I've drawn my number line, what integer, integer do you think could be represented by my, um, my blue x? Yeah, Christian? Looks like it's exactly halfway between 20 and 30, right? 25. Might be like, you know, a little bit off, but I think that's pretty precise. Okay? Now, on your number line, I'd like you to pop that in, and you can see if you wanted to, say, plot a number, give me a number that's somewhere on this number line. It has to be small enough that it'll fit. Yeah, it does. Minus 40. Minus 40, okay. I can fit minus 40 in. You can put it right there. If so, someone give me a more awkward number, a number that's like in between the tens, yeah, Nikhil? 20, uh, 23. 23, okay, 23 will do. Whoa, it's going to be very close to my 25, obviously. Should be a little bit to the left though, shouldn't it? I'm guessing it's pretty close in between here. So I'm going to put one there. 23, okay. <laughs> the important thing is, you can see all of these numbers, they're all whole numbers, and you get their direction <laughs> by looking whether they're left or right. Okay. 